OK, for the purposes of this video, we're going to be having a go at producing a house in SketchUp. And we're going to start by using SketchUp 2016, because that's what year five we're presently working on. So SketchUp 2016. And we're going to start using SketchUp. Now, when SketchUp first loads, we end up with a blank world with a lady stood there with her dungarees on. I'm not going to get rid of her, because she gives us a good scale. What I am going to do is make sure I'm on the pan button and I'm going to use the scroll button on the mouse to zoom back a little bit. I can also use the uh, pan button to move it a little bit to the left so I can see a bit of her space. I'm now going to use the rectangle tool to click here and I'm going to draw a flat rectangle that's quite large. If I drag, you'll see the screen expands as I do it. Okay. I'm then going to use the color tool and I'm going to go on to landscaping and I'm going to choose grass and I'm going to make a grassy area. So to begin with, what I've got is a flat grass place on which to build my house. The reason I'm going to do this is it helps us keep everything a little bit rooted together and a little bit based off the ground. I'm going to go back to my rectangle tool now and I'm going to draw another rectangle and this time it's going to be the base of my house. Now my house is going to have two bits to it. It's going to have the main area and then it's going to have a porch bit in front of it. So I'm going to draw both of those separately. I can now use the extrude tool to pull that house up. You can see it's coming up as grass. I'm going to have to deal with that in a moment. And then pull the front of the house up as well. OK? I could have changed that before, which possibly would have been a better idea. But when I'm finished later on, I can click on the colour tool. I can go through to the bricks and I can start to give this a much better effect. Um, in fact, if I just work through that quickly now, it won't take a moment. Using the rotate so I can see all the different angles. One of the nice things in Sketch, of course, is because you work in 3D, you can see all the different sides of the uh, building. So what I've got now is I've got a large brick building standing on a piece of grass. But at the moment, it doesn't have a roof. OK? Now, to do the roof, I'm going to look on, on it pretty much square on from the side. I'm going to use the line tool, which is this one. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see it a little bit further. Maybe pan down a little bit as well so I get a bit more sky above it. And I'm going to draw a triangle. So roughly halfway, I'm going to draw the triangle down to there. OK, and if I rotate around, hopefully, yeah, that's parallel with the side of the building. You can use the extrude tool to pull that along to the edge here. I'm going to rotate my building around again so I can see it pretty much straight on from this side. And I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to draw a triangle that goes pretty much up to the apex there so it doesn't touch the edge. Draw it down to there. Again, I'm going to rotate around so I can see it. And I'm going to use my extrude tool to pull that so that this nicely sits into the edge of the roof line there. Having done that, I can now colour my roof. So I'm going to go to colour. I'm going to go on to my roofing option down here. I'm going to choose a tile effect I like. Let's use slate. That probably should be brick. I'll have a look at that maybe in a moment. Let's go around a bit further. Okay. We've got all the edges. Okay. Now, I think this edge piece shouldn't really be tiled. So what I'm going to do on these ones, I'm going to go back onto my brick. I'm going to go back onto my colour and try and select the same brick so it matches in. Rotate around and do the same on this one. OK, so it looks like the brick's running all the way up. So what we can start to see here is we can start to see we've got the basic shape of the building. Now, again, we can continue with this. I'm not going to do the whole thing now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of little features on. So I'm going to draw a door in and I'm going to use the extrude tool to push the door slightly into the space and then I'm going to go back to my fill tool here again and I'm going to go on to wood which right at the bottom to use a wood effect some sort of wood that looks quite nice and fill that in so we've now got a wooden door in the building and again if we do the same thing with glass we can go for another square tool we can draw a very simple so it does it the right way. Uh, window. We can again use the extra tool just to push in a little bit so we get a little bit of a windowsill or lintel. Okay? 
Um, then we can go back onto our colouring tool. We can select glass as an option from here. We can select one of the glass options. Okay. And we can start to see through. That will also mean later on, once we start to build the centre of the house, we can go through. And we'll do one extra little bit here, so we'll just spin around. Because we've got this nice flat grass area, it's now possible to build things on this. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to make a very quick swimming pool. So I'm going to draw a square, or a rectangle around. I'm going to fill my rectangle as being concrete, or asphalt. I'm going to draw another rectangle inside that, and I'm going to fill this one as being water. And then I'm going to use my extrude tool this time to push my water down. So what I've now got is I've got a house. In front of the house, I've got a very dangerously placed swimming pool because somebody's going to trip straight into it. And what we can start to do next time is we can start to explore better positioning of swimming pools, but also how we can add the final features onto the house and how we can start to look at designing the inside of the house. Eventually, we'll start to want to use things like the components where we can import cars and so on. But at the moment, all this should be our own work.